So what is VWAP? Deepak Shanoi bringing you Market Vision short takes on the topic. The question obviously arises about what the full form of VWAP is, which is a volume weighted average price. Before I go into technical details of an actual definition, let's see what it means. The closing price of a stock of a day on the NSE is the average of the last 30 minutes of transactions. Now, I don't mean a simple average and let me explain this with an example. So if you took the simple average versus a VWAP, the way the simple average would be calculated, for example, you might have at 3 o'clock 10 shares sold at 90 rupees, at 3.10 10 shares at 91, 3.15 10 shares at 92 and 3.25 500 shares at 100 rupees each. If you take the average of all of these, the, just the prices, forget the quantities of the shares, you find that the average is 93 rupees 25 paisa. But that doesn't make any sense because the demand was at 100. Uh, the there was 500 shares bought at 100, only 10 10 shares at the other prices. So obviously we've got to put the volume, the quantities, somehow involved into the picture. Using a simple average is nonsense. So let's look at how the VWAP is calculated. 10 shares at 90 rupees means 900 rupees was spent. 91 was 910, 920 and 50,000 rupees, which is a whole factor more for the, for the last transaction. If you add all of this up, you get 52,730 divided by the total number of shares bought, which was 530. And you get the VWAP as 99.49, much closer to the 100 rupee mark where we saw that there was a lot of transactions uh, that occurred. So th that's how the VWAP is calculated and what is it really used for? So obviously we've seen that it it's used for calculating the closer, closing price of a stock, but for lower volume stocks, uh, a fund manager might want to buy a stock for 1 crore rupees. It might not trade much on the whole day. So what they'll say is, listen, give me the VWAP of the whole day. They'll tell a broker that and the broker might use algorithms to trade. That means the algorithm will determine the VWAP till now. If the stock trades below that VWAP, it'll go buy so that the fund manager manages to get the stocks at the VWAP of the day. This is a continuously adjusting algorithm uh, throughout the day. Other thing that happens with uh, VWAP is on derivatives on expiry day. So for instance, the derivatives price on the day that the derivative expires, that's the cash and uh, the futures market on, on equities, is related to the VWAP of the last 30 minutes of the cash stock. That means the future will expire at the VWAP of the cash stock of the last 30 minutes. That obviously determines the way the future moves. So you'll find that sometimes the stock might have traded a lot of volume at one price at 315. At 325 is trading at a completely different price. But the derivative, the future of the same stock will be trading close closer to the VWAP as uh, 325 and 326, 327 approaches. The last thing it's used for, and this is not something that's legal, but it's used by a lot of uh, mutual funds and other kind of companies for stock manipulation. What they do is at the end of a year or a quarter or a month, they want to show that their assets under management are high. There's some stocks which have an artificially low price. So towards the 315, 320 time, if they put in a large order, the stock can be made to rise 3 or 4%. Now, 3 or 4 percent may be a small thing for you, but the idea is your fees as a mutual fund or as a as a certain kind of fund are related to the total asset value that you control. The total asset value is related to the closing price of the securities that you hold. So, on the last day of a quarter, last day of uh, a year, it, there is a little bit of an incentive to manipulate a little bit by doing a large purchase towards the end of say 3.15 to 3.30 time. This happens a lot. They use it to move the VWAP and although it isn't entirely legal, it's something that you have to be aware of. I'd love to hear your comments. Um, do email us, info at marketvision.in, visit our forums, tell us what you think. I'd love to hear from you and thanks for listening.